This is a GAD TV video. Well, I've just been to the job centre again, um, 21st of 4th, 2015, and um, I'm on my way home, and uh, it's taken me ages to get home. How they think someone like me is fit for work, I'll never know. My heel is playing at something awful, for every step is very painful, and yet, according to certain uh, authorities, and that, um, you're fit for work. Yeah. Anyway, I'm making my way home slowly because there's no rush. I won't be anywhere specifically. This is as far as I can get, as you can see behind me. In Saltlands, I am at the moment at 20 past 11. My sign on time was 10.40. This is how far I've got so far. But hey, we will plod on because that's what we do. End of story. It's now 11.43 or thereabouts, looking at the clock, not the time means anything to me whatsoever. Anyway, this is as far as I got, I got to the Saltlands Community Woods, as it's called. Very nice. Just sitting down, having another breather before continuing on home, limping, in agony and all that. Oh yeah, another thing the job centre is going to do from now on is make some of the paperwork redundant. Mm. They go in electronic signature. What it is, they want two more um, ID, a uh, form of ID, so they can update their system to the new electronic system, whereby they, they're doing away with the signature, or you sign it electronically. There's another job gone. They are technical unemployment. What chance has anyone, anyone, got of getting a job anywhere? Electronics is taking over. Soon you will become face to face with an on uh, online um, what can I, a image of someone or a village, uh, vi uh, village, a video link to somebody, excuse my hand, somebody who um, is not even in the same room as you. And you won't have to do it by walking into an office. You can do it online. Yeah, technical unemployment. So as, as um, Lee Nelson said online, to the uh, um, woman, your job will be next. Which she laughed. And to tell you truthfully, I said the same thing in my job centre here in Bridgewater. And they also laughed. Not just one person, because quite a few of them overheard what I said. And quite a few of them laughed. Oh no, our jobs are safe. We work for the government. Yeah. And do you think the government give two shits about your job? No. Nah. If it's going to save them money, your job will go and be replaced by computers and Skype will come in handy for them because they'll link to you via video connection at home and then they'll activate a little electronic pad or your um, so-called touchpad on your 
computer or laptop and you'll just sign electronically from home you won't have to go anywhere but you still have to go out looking for a job hmm. and you'll next you'll be online um, data collecting whereby you'll have to fill a um, online form in of what you've been up to and you'll have to prove it by the videos or photographs that you actually went to set place you know and it'll have to have the time and date on it big brother is watching you beware become the change you want to see in this world by telling the system up yours we've had enough and if you keep voting for the same people nothing will change with elections coming up yep you got elections coming up soon as well and uh voting for someone will make one bit of difference all you're doing is changing the nanny yeah that's all you're doing oh we don't like that nanny we'll vote for a new nanny put your cross on it are you dumb do you know what that cross is go check out go google it bye for now Peace and love to all. P.S. and a change of location, just slightly, not far from where we left off just now. Just a little afterthought for those in the know-how and in the ruling so-called early years. Um, just to say that people that reach a certain age, say like 60, should be allowed to retire. After working over 40 years, you know, of their life, slaving away for the ruling elite right just to be worked on after 60 until they die because that's exactly what they want the ruling elite yes uh, and they seem to don't care about you which is true they don't because all you are is a slave and like i said before when you vote you're voting for a new nanny uh, yeah a nanny state that's what we got anyway the fact is that when people reach my age of 60 or so not just for me i'm on about future generations to come who are going to find the same things um as my generation and generations uh like they're coming up to 60 are going to find they're not going to get a job no matter what especially if they're unskilled labor as such me yours um we're not likely to get any work whatsoever I suppose I could go into bar work or um, volunteer work with um, charities and all sorts. But what's the point of that in a monetary system when you need pennies to live on? Hmm? 
Yeah. Mind you, the government pay you pennies to live on anyway. I mean, you know, £113 for a couple to live on. That's barely enough for one person to live on, let alone two. Right? So come on, let's get this right. I suggest, right, as also putting in a basic income for everyone, no matter what. No strings attached, nothing like that. A basic income for everybody of working age and over. In other words, people who also come up to retirement. As long as you're alive on this planet, you get a basic income from said government. It's one step closer to a resource-based economy, or a natural resource-based economy, because that's what we need. Huh? Because the technology is catching up so fast, it's overtaking everything. I mean, it won't be long before, you know, you'd be wearing, like, your mobile phone on your wrist. Oh, <laughs> oh silly, we they already do that, don't they? Yeah, you can already wear your wristwatch and your phone and your computer on your wrist. Technical unemployment. Yeah. Soon, you won't even have to go <coughs> to have money in your pocket. It'll be electronic on your hand device. And you just walk past it and go, ding. If you walk into a toll area and you haven't got a cash to pay, well, that's all right. Just use your mobile phone or your mobile device. RDF chips. Hmm. Oh, just around the corner. Wake up, everybody. Yeah. It's time to realise that you are what they say you are. A slave. From the day you were born to the day you die. You're a slave. As soon as your parents register you with set ruling elite, they are, you are no longer their property. They sign that over. They signed you over to the nanny state. End of story. You are a slave. Full stop. Get over it and get used to it. Down a leafy lane, one is walking. Making one's way home. At the job center, signed a piece of paper, looking for jobs that don't exist. But still you go on looking, like a fool, a slave supposed to do. Look for work, pay your way, on a planet you were born onto. So don't forget to pay for everything, because that's what you're supposed to do. Because that's what you are, a working slave. The only value of your money is in your head. And that's all it is. It's just a piece of paper, a worthless piece of paper, worthless bits of metal that they tell you is valuable. But it's not. Never was. Fools, wake up and see the shit before your eyes. It is now 12.30 and I left the job centre about 10 to 11, something like that. It's now 12.30 and I'm about, one consider about a couple of minutes away from home. For me, it's going to take me at least another 5 to 10 minutes to walk the distance to home and uh, I'll show it to you in a minute okay that gate there 
leads to home and we're this far away from it there we go that way from it and first I've got to go through this gate then down the ramp which is further up that way oh, just in the distance there as you can see where the footpath goes downwards that's the ramp that leads down across that field that has sheep in it 